OK, we're going to figure the inverse plus of this. s times e to the negative 3s over s squared plus 4s plus 5. And as you know, all the s are in red and the 5 is in black, right? Anyway, as we see, here we have e to the negative 3s. So this means when I go back to the t world, I must have a what? I must have a unit step function, right? And let me write that down right here for you guys, right? So let's put down u of t minus whatever. And this right here, we have to refer back to this. We have negative 3s, right? So we are going to pay attention to this number 3. That will tell me the unit step function is going to be u of t minus 3, right? So we must have this part, and we know we also have to have the function f of t minus 3. And now the question is, what is f of t minus 3? Of course, to answer that, we have to know what f of t is. And to do so, this is how I would recommend you guys to do it. Let's just put this down on the side. Let me just say it's right here, all right? And I will just write down the inverse Laplace transform of s on the top. And you see, I'm not looking at the e to the negative 3s anymore. And I will look at the bottom, s squared plus 4s plus 5. All right? And the reason that we're doing this right here is that when we finish this, this is going to give us f of t. And once I know what f of t is, I can just go ahead plugging t minus 3 into the f of t and put it there. That's it, isn't it? OK. So let's go ahead and figure out the inverse Laplace of this. Well, the bottom here, we have to complete the square, right? It's not factorable, and it doesn't have any real roots. So let's go ahead and do that right here. We have the s squared plus 4s, leave a space, and then put a plus 5. Well, how do I know what number to add or subtract? Uh, just to show you guys some work right here, this is 1 half times this number, which is 4, and square that. That's 2 squared, which is 4. So that means you have to add 4, and then don't forget to subtract 4. So that's pretty much how we complete a square. And then the first three terms is going to give me s plus 2 squared, and then this is just going to be plus 1, right? 5 minus 4 is 1. And you know the deal. Let's look at the 1 as 1 squared. Perfect. And now let's look at this right here. This is the inverse Laplace. And then on the top, we still have the s over the denominator. It's not down, right? So Let's write this down as s plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. What's next? Well, we see that we have the s plus 2 here inside. On the top, we better have the s plus 2 as well. So let's go ahead, put a plus 2, and don't forget, subtract 2 immediately, so we can pretend nothing happened. And then, you see, this is going to be, we can break this into two parts now. The first one is s plus 2 on the top over this denominator, so we have the s plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, and let's close that. And then for the second inverse Laplace, you see on the top we have the negative 2, and that's just a constant multiple, so we can take that to the front, so put down the negative 2 right here. And then we have the inverse Laplace, and after I take out the negative 2 in the front, on the top we just have the 1, right? So let's put down the 1 over the bottom, which is the s plus 2 squared, and then plus 1 squared. And now let's go ahead and figure this out. Well, as you can see, we're adding 2 directly to s. So that means when we go back to the t world, I must have e to the something. And you have to look at the s plus 2 as s minus negative 2. And that will tell us we will have e to the negative 2t, right? Once again, Whenever we are adding or subtracting uh, a number directly to s, be sure you multiply it by e to the whatever t. And you see this is s minus negative 2. So we must have e to the negative 2 t. And then if you look at the rest, we have the s on the top, s right here, right? And then s, you know, s plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. This is going to be the cosine situation. So we have the cosine, and we look at this number. It's just going to be 1 t, right? So we have e to the negative 2t times cosine t. That's the first part. And then let's bring down the negative 2. For this right here, because we have the s plus 2 squared, same situation. Let's go ahead and multiply by e to the negative 2t. And in this case, we will end up with a sine function, right? And as you notice, 
Here, this is one square. And on the top, we also have this one that we need, right? Be sure this number before you square, this and that how to match. So that we can end up sine of one t, which is just t, right? And as you can see, this right here is the things that we did in the past. And this is technically my f of t for now, right? And once again, the difference between that one and this one is you should figure out this one first so you know what f of t is. And whenever you multiply by e to the negative 3s, you will end up with a unit step function. Also, we have to have f of t minus 3. And as you can see, this is f of t. And to get f of t minus 3, all we have to do is plugging t minus 3 into all this t right here. That's it, right? And anyway, let me just write this down right here for you guys. We must multiply this by f of t minus 3. And I will write this down again nicely for you guys. Hopefully, I can make everything super clear. So right here, this is the unit step function. So we we'll write down u of t minus 3. And then for f of t minus 3, as we can see right here, both of these terms, they have e to the negative 2t, right? So what I will do is I will first factor out the e of negative 2t. And then don't forget to plug in t minus 3 into the t. So we will end up this right here, e to the negative 2. But then it's no longer just a t. We want to have t minus 3 in here. So we'll put down t minus 3, all right? So we factor that out over there already. And then for the first term right here, of course, we have to put on parentheses. We will have the cosine, and then this is the t, but it becomes t minus 3, right? So here we have the cosine t minus 3 inside, like this. And then for the second term, we have the negative 2. And then we have the sine. And then we have this t, which becomes t minus 3. And we'll just put it inside here. And one more parentheses. This is it, right? So we have the unit step function and also f of t minus 3 as well. So this is it. And once again, whenever you're doing this, don't forget to just get the f of t on the side like this. That's it.